ladies. Hi, how are you? We have, I'm Debbie, this is Cindy, we're Sisters and Stitches. And we have a really fun thing to do for you. You know how we were talking about maybe doing like a, a nail, going and having a nail appointment? Well, came across this nail polish that we were so excited about. And they actually approached us and it's called Jolie Nails. And it's vegan and cruelty free. And the one good thing that I liked about this company, why I said that we would review their product, products is because they are very much into mental health awareness and a huge, and it's a huge part of what this company stands for. And so 20% of all of their sales go to three different mental health organizations. And it's a women owned business. They just launched in August of 2020 and they're based right out of a suburb here in Chicago. And, um, so they, the other thing I like about this polish is there's like 10 chemicals they say in normal nail polish that is harmful to you. Mm -hmm. Their polishes don't have any of those harsh chemicals yeah, in them. They, yeah, it's free of harsh chemicals. Yeah. So if you have any allergies or stuff like that to nail polish, this is probably one you could um you can use because a lot of that toluene and that kind of stuff that's in nail polish isn't so good for you yeah and debbie used to be a nail technician way back in another for 20 life years <laughs> yeah <laughs> i had my own yeah. shop for 17. so here is jolie vegan nail polish and um so i just want to show you these colors though yeah let's take them out of the box yeah let's so take them out just, of the box really quickly i just want to show you they they gave us a random five colors and a top coat so but each each polish is paired with an uplifting phrase or a motivating word. So see what the color is. The color is keep trying. That's Cindy, a this is Cindy's color. She loves. It, no, just keep it here. I'll, I'll. She loves um, the corally colors. Now this is more me. Stay true to you. Very yeah, pretty. That's pretty. I know you like purple. Cindy will like this one too called Remarkable. Ah, uh, other way here this way. Jolie. Isn't that pretty? Now this one's more me. Um, it's positive thoughts. <laughs> I look good with my outfit today, so we'll have to do that. We're gonna put like one hand. Debbie's gonna paint one hand, one color, and one another. Oh, and look, no, it's this is. That's just a clear. Is that a base coat or a top coat? This is a top coat, but they also gave us a glitter top coat, so you can make yours glittery because they're all um, matte finishes. So we'll do a glittery. Or not matte finishes, but just a, a sheer, a plain mm -hmm. lacquer and then, or top coat. So we'll, we'll do Cindy's both so you can see what they look like. So I like, I, I do like how they name their So their what I'll products. do now is I'm, um, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to paint Cindy up here and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like on her fingers. Okay. Sorry, that took a while, but let me explain why. Cindy had on nail polish, so I had to take the nail polish off. And then typically what you want to do is even if you don't have nail polish on, and I don't, they haven't told me this. This is just me telling you as a nail technician, take some of your acetone nail polish remover, even if your nails are clear and just hit them all with a, um, uh, a cotton ball because when you put lotions and stuff on your hands, it inevitably gets on your nails. And then if you don't wash that stuff off and get it off the nail, your manicure won't last as long. So really clean the nails good before you use any nail polish. Um, all right, so on this hand we use show in the bottle. No, yeah, we I didn't I didn't put a base coat on Cindy, so I don't know if this company has you do yeah. that or not. Oh, they have a base coat. Yeah. So typically you'd want to put on a base coat, which we didn't do. But then I put on um, two layers of the lacquer, which is what color? This is the Stay Tuned to You. It's like a, a great pastelly purple. Yeah, great for. And then I put it. I finished with their top coat. So it'll be nice to see how this wears. And how on do you? Um, I mean, do you? What do you think this is comparable to? I would say it's right up there with like OPI and SE and the higher end polishes. And I their think polishes it, it went on really nice. It only took on the lighter color. I did two coats because it was a little bit more sheer. But on the coral, I didn't really have to do two coats. I just did to give her the protection. But I didn't have to on the coral. Okay, and then here's the coral. But we use the glitter top coat. So, and I left this finger free so you could kind of see the difference when you and put what them. was the name of the coral one? The coral color was Keep Trying and the and just with a glitter top coat. Like a pinky. Uh, it's like a pinky peach top coat, but it's mm -hmm. more glittery. So, so. We, yeah, so can you see the difference? It ch kind of changes the color a little bit. Yeah. I got a little dot on there be before I decided, oh, I'm going to give the, I'm going to, I'm going to finish that one for Cindy now so you can see it, but... Um, 
but the, they're really comparably priced too, comparably priced. Um, because I, what is OPI like a bottle? I think it's like $9. Yeah, and these are $8.99, and they are giving, um, I'll have a code up for the first 100 subscribers that um, go to the website and order any of these colors, a 30% off your purchase. So, and right now, our sister Barb, who owns her store up in Minnesota, which we, she's in negotiations with them right now to carry this whole line. Yeah. So we're and, really excited uh, about that. Yeah, so, um, and I'll put the link to Barb's Boutique up in case any of you have missed it. So we're excited about that. It's a small women-owned company based out of Chicagoland, just started in August. So give them some love, people. Congratulations, ladies. Way to go. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Really, really cool colors. And they gave us kind of a pink and a purple and peach. Yeah. So and I mean, we have to all kind of give you a, colors. yeah. So something in all the little families. And I'm sure if so. you, do they have a web, they do have a website. Yeah, I'm I'll sure put if you that go below. to their website, you could see all their colors. Oh yeah. They have it all listed and all the different products that they mm -hmm. have. So very, very And just remember, even nice. though you're spending $9 a bottle like OPI, you're buying that from Target and putting the money in their pockets. Who cares, right? When you buy their polishes, they're giving to three mental um, health health institutions, and they don't have all the harsh chemicals in their polishes that OPI and SE and all of them carry. Cool. Yeah. See? I'm, I'm really like interested it. to see how long they wear, too, which Cindy will let us know over the course of the next 10. Typically, a good manicure lasts 10 days. Really good manicure. You can squeeze 12 days out Is of that it. Is that with the, the That's just normal. normal. Well, just Debbie and I are doing a spa night hands. at her house on April 10th. So you'll see how well the polish did on Cindy's hands on April 10th. We'll take another video yeah. and then show you how well it did. Now, I am going to switch one of her hands so she can wear the same color on both hands. But other than that, um, she'll probably wear the coral because that's her favorite color. All right, so thank you, Jolie, for sending these to us. And we're I, so excited for you, ladies. I, yeah. hope it, I hope your business booms. I truly do. Because it's well worth it. So give them some love, ladies. Thanks truly, for watching. Truly, because, you know, mental health uh, affects a lot of families. So this is a really good thing to buy. All right. Thanks for watching, spending a few minutes with us. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, ladies. Bye.